Well, ski resorts and snowmobiling shops are glad this cold weather is sticking around late into the season. After a warm stretch, many thought spring was arriving, but winter has made a return. WMUR's Tim Callery is live at Gunstock Mountain in Guilford, where the slopes were packed today, Tim. Yeah, Sharice, that's right. All is quiet at this hour, but I have to say it was really quite the day. As you can imagine, the management team here at Gunstock very excited about this late uh, winter weather into the season. And of course, they're not alone. It was a busy Saturday here at Gunstock Mountain Resort in Guilford. Whether it was on the mountain or snow tubing hills, there was no shortage of winter fun here thanks to a winter gift delivered by Mother Nature on Tuesday. We're very happy with the snow we had earlier this week. It was um, a cold storm. It came in quick and it came in hard. A um, lot of winds, but we ended up with about 18 inches of snow. The big nor'easter coming just in time as the ski resort plays host to the annual Francis Pichet Invitational. We've got young skiers from all over the eastern seaboard, um, different states coming to Gunstock to race. But it was not all about the ski slopes. Snowmobilers also feeling excited over the unofficial delay of spring. Yeah, it was a welcome sign for us. Dennis Ford is the president of the Alexandria Ledge Climbers Snowmobile Club. He says last month's mild temperatures had him thinking the season was cut short, but the recent round of winter weather is bringing new hope. Our trails were closed. Uh, we closed around the end of February due to lack of snow and the warm temperatures and it allowed us to open back up again this weekend and we hope to get another week or so out of trail riding here. The continuation of the winter recreation season bringing an extra boost to the Granite State economy. Volunteers like myself go out there and do all this work um, so that uh, we can bring a lot of revenue into the state of New Hampshire. And now whether you plan on hitting the slopes, going snowmobiling or even ice fishing, New Hampshire Fish and Game is sending out a warning, just asking people to really be alert. They say a cold day in March is not like a cold day in January, and they say conditions may not be as safe as they were just a few months ago. We're live here in Guilford. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.